According to Honest, Project Blue Bean would involve several steps. The first step would allegedly involve faking discoveries that would discredit all fundamental religious doctrines. Then three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds would be projected into the sky, simulating figures important to various cultures and religions, which would merge into one after explanations of their individual mistakes. Telepathic electronic means would be used to communicate with each individual on Earth, convincing them that their God is speaking to them directly. The final step would supposedly use electronic means to create the illusion of an alien invasion, or the perception of the rapture and return of Jesus, to manipulate believers into accepting the new religion. Shoulders forward if you've been sitting. Feet shoulder length, or shoulder width apart. Okay, take a deep breath in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And that's without the kinetics or the cymatics of using the shield sound. Rolling shoulders forward. Sheep. Elongate. Okay. Body part. Body part. Now, it's really simple. Very, very simple. What's a UFO? We don't know. What's psychic? We don't know. What's a Bigfoot cryptid human morphological space synthetic biology human? We don't know. Okay. So when we perturbate people's electrical body part inside of a variant electromagnetic field and then we start running current from the outside of their body and the inside of their body with DNA analyte derivative biosensors biomarkers. What do you think happens to their cellular membranes and interstitial fluids? They change. They are radiated. They are altered. Bioelectromagnetic algorithms have been around a long time. How? Tell me how. Your body is not only attached to the cloud, but the big underground networks that look out for Charlie talks about, I have right here in a big circle to show underneath the town, the house, the car. We have big magnets underground, we have modified, or excuse me, modular open system approach with sensors. We beam down one signal and connect up with the other. This also gives us the opportunity to destabilize the atmosphere by particulate for other types of manipulation of particulate in the atmosphere. Just like we decouple your electrical cells in your body electric. Your morphogenetic field is up here. Before we get there, we need to rearrange your neurons a little bit within the body. For what? Because if you get to the point that you are at regenerative medicine and life extension and you need to, say, regenerate a limb or other types of tissue scaffolding, now we're into the morphology and genomics, the morphological field. The medical implant communication system was around in the 60s. You add that with an RFID chip and the ability to send out a drone, send a small weakened radio frequency signal with a wearable, very easy to do. But in 2005, when we added biosensors to the mixture, DNA analyte made out of you and your tissue, it made things much easier through the wireless. The body area network has been there since 1995. In August 2021, mesh networking was given to come in and out of these biosensors, usurping your bioelectric energy for routing for faster shipping. This is your global information architecture. This is your ability to be brought up in a database more easily. This is a human body part being utilized for the purposes of full wireless piezoelectric tissue engineering control. Tell me how. When we decouple or uncouple the cell states individually inside the body, this is how AI precision healthcare can be offered as well as the remote surgery and the 6G radio cognitive radio. So we have to disassociate your electrical field from the Schumann. That is correct. The golden ratio will be changed. And the machine learning writing of the bioelectromagnetic algorithms is where you find that math. 
These two radio frequency sinks are designated by IEEE standards 802.15.4, not 5. 5 makes a bunch of them on the outside can access these on the inside. But by the routing protocols that I have sourced with the W band, this, these two here are tethered. And it pulls the radio frequency in, not from the outside, but from the communication of the internal notes. Again, why? Synthetic biology and morphology, life extension and regenerative medicine. Project Salus has been around since my parents were in the service in 1969. Please work exposing Project Blue Beam had made him a target for harassment by government authorities, which he believed was part of a campaign to silence him. According to reports in his own accounts, Monist and another journalist were repeatedly arrested and had their children taken away by authorities, ostensibly due to their involvement in publicizing conspiracy theories which the government found disruptive or threatening. Monist attributed his legal and personal troubles to his stance against what he believed to be a global conspiracy. He ultimately died of a heart attack in 1996, which some claim was induced or somehow facilitated, according to Monast. Then three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds would be projected into the sky, simulating figures important to various cultures and religions, which would... Then three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds would be projected into the sky, simulating figures important to various cultures and religions, which would merge into one after explanations of their individual mistakes. Three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds would be projected into the sky, simulating figures important to various cultures and religions, which would merge into one after explanations of their individual mistakes. optical holograms and sounds would be projected into the sky, simulating figures important to various cultures and religions, which would merge into one after explanations of their individual mistakes.
God is sleeping in your prison homes. The practice blue beam in the sky is getting ready for that day.